Good morning, teachers and friends. Followed by Sydney's presentation last week about how to reduce food waste. Today, Angel and I will be presenting about food waste. Where does food come from? What is food waste? Food waste is food that is uneaten and thrown away. But have you ever wondered where does our food come from? To understand about food waste, we must first understand where does our food come from. We all eat fruits and vegetables. Some of us also eat meat and fish. Where does food come from? Sources of food. We get food from two main sources. They are plants and animals. I'm sure all of us know that food is very important to our health. Food help us to grow healthy, smart, strong, and happy. Hey, Kobe, what is your favorite food? Ooh, it's chicken rice. Do you know where does the rice come from? Uh, the rice comes from the rice bucket in my kitchen? No, silly. Let's watch this video to find out more. Use your eyes to watch the video. Watch and see how, how the rice actually grows. By making the ground too waterlogged for them to take hold. Some rice fields are irrigated with water from nearby rivers. Others are rain-fed areas. How does rice grow? Rice is a grain. It looks like grass when it's fully grown. Most of the rice we eat in the UK comes from India, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Pakistan and Italy. People in these countries have grown rice for thousands of years. But actually, you can grow rice in most places as long as the plants aren't exposed to the cold. Rice grows in a paddy field. It's different to a field you might see in this country because it's usually flooded with water, which is just how the rice plants like it. The water protects the rice plants from extreme heat and cold and stops the weeds from growing by making the ground too waterlogged for them to take hold. Some rice fields are irrigated with water from nearby rivers. Others are rain-fed areas containing water that falls during the monsoon season. The rice plants start their growing cycle in a nursery paddy field. After one month, the seedling plants are put into small bunches and transplanted to a larger field to allow them to grow to their full size. The ground in the larger paddy field is prepared for the seedling rice plants by ploughing. They use oxen to pull the plough through the waterlogged field. The small bunches of rice seedlings are then planted in the main field by hand. The seedlings are given plenty of space in the ground because the rice plants will grow to be around a metre tall. It takes three months for the grains of rice to develop at the top of the plant's stalks. When the grains turn yellow and hard, it's time for them to be harvested. In this field, the rice has to be harvested by hand, so during the harvest, the paddy field is drained to make it easier for the workers. The farmers harvest the rice by cutting the stalks with a sickle. Next, they separate the grain from the stalks by threshing it. This is usually done by hand. In some
some places the rice is spread out, like this, and the heat of the sunshine dries it out. But often, the rice is stored in large silos, and using dryers, they heat up the air to dry out the rice. Once the rice is dry, the rice grain is separated from the outer husk using this machine. Now it's ready to be placed into these one-ton bags and transported to rice mills in Europe. Wow! I didn't know that growing rice is such a long and tedious process. Yes. Yes, so much effort is put into growing rice. That's why we should not raise rice. Where does rice come from? Rice is a kind of grain which is mostly eaten steamed or boiled, but it can also be ground into a flour. Rice straw is used to make paper and can also be woven into mats, hats, and other products. How about you, Angel? What's your favorite food? Ah, beef steak. Yummy. Fat and juicy beef steak. Where does beef steak come from? Beef is a culinary name for meat from cattle. Beef can be harvested from cows, bulls, buffaloes, calves, and others. Do you know that rearing cows aren't environmentally friendly because cows produce a massive amount of methane, which is a greenhouse gas causing air pollution and global warming? Beef is the third most widely consumed meat in the world accounting for about 25% meat, meat production worldwide. After pork and poultry, which is pig and duck. Where does other meat come from? Other meat comes from chicken, fish, and other sea animals, pig and duck. Pork is the meat from the domestic pig. Ham, bacon, and sausages are some examples of preserved pork. Meat from sea animals includes fish, prawns, crabs, and other. Where does Singapore get our food from? Singapore is heavily dependent on food imports due to its virtual absence of agriculture and livestock farming. More than 90% of the country's food supplies are from abroad, especially from the Asian region. We import food such as eggs, chickens, and fruits from Asian countries like Malaysia, China, and Australia. How about fruits and vegetables? Do they come from the supermarket? No, they come from nature. Seeds are planted to the ground until they grow and bear fruits. Some fruits grow into a tree like mango, orange, while some from vines like watermelons and grapes. Oh, I know, just like our watermelon plot in our PGPS garden. How many of you have seen our watermelon plot? It now has five watermelons. Angel, how about vegetables? It's the same as fruits. They also sprout from seeds. It is also a very tedious and long process. From the planting of the seeds to caring for the seedlings to harvesting. Now that we know it's not easy to grow fruits, vegetables, and raise a cattle farm, we should not waste our food. Wasting food means wasting natural resources like agriculture.
agricultural land, water, fuel, and other natural resources. Wasting food is also wasting fuel. The fuel that is needed to transport the food from other countries to Singapore is wasted. The oil used to cook the food is also wasted. Not only that, do you know that one third of the food produced are wasted every year? It is a serious concern and harming both the economy and the environment. More landfill is needed to contain all the waste we generate. Methane gas is produced, increasing global warming. Water and fuel are wasted. The quality of the soil is also reduced. We really need to think twice before wasting any food. Love food, not waste it.